Hello YouTube, it's time for the monthly stats video. I'd just like to say welcome to any new subscribers and um, for those of you who um, don't know, this is a video I do each month to just uh, detail uh, how my system has performed in terms of generation, you know, energy in, energy out, how much I've taken from the grid, how much I've exported, that sort of thing. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we generated a total of 1,018 kilowatt hours in May. That's just over a megawatt hour, so uh, that's pretty good going. It's always nice to break the megawatt hour mark. Our best day was on the 27th of May, uh, and on that day we generated just over 52 kilowatt hours of uh, electricity. Here is the graph for the 27th, and you can see that um, it must have been a bit sort of a bubbly white clouds in the morning. Uh, but then from about midday or just before midday onwards it, uh, it it pretty much was a cloudless sky so that's why the production was so good um, my MPP solar off-grid inverter um, obviously started to um, uh, ramp itself down when the batteries behind me were pretty much full uh, so potentially our generation could have been a little bit higher but um, once the batteries are full, they're full, and because it's an off-grid inverter, yeah, there's nowhere else for it to go. It can't export it, so it just it just ramps it down. Our worst day was on the 11th of May, and on that day we generated just 14 kilowatt hours of electricity. And here is the graph for that day. You can see that um, it's not like completely ridiculous like we get in the middle of winter when uh, when you get sort of a slightly grey rainy day in winter you get if no more than sort of four or five hundred watts max at any given point in the day but here we're still getting uh, you know sort of a, at least over a kilowatt for quite a lengthy period of time and it's more than enough to keep us going so um, one of the benefits of the summer is the really long days so even if you get a grey day because the day is so long just that constant um, minimum of a sort of a kilowatt coming in all day long is more than enough to recharge the batteries and, and cover the house usage. So we imported just 37.7 kilowatt hours of, uh, of electricity from the grid. Um, obviously I'd rather that was completely zero but that's virtually impossible so um, that's, that's not too bad going. So this resulted in my bill for May being just uh, over £13, which is mostly made up of the standing charge. So let's now have a look at the generation by source pie chart, as we always do. Uh, and as usual, uh, the Solax inverter uh, provides the bulk of, uh, of all the power uh, and the um, grow watt one kilowatt and the grow watt two kilowatts are both fairly similar now at this time of year uh, and the shed you know my solar powered shed here that's charging these batteries behind me um, that's you know getting on for nine percent of uh, of the total which is really good considering it's just you know a kilowatt of panels sitting on the roof of this shed uh, still provides you know almost uh, a tenth of uh, all the power that we that we get so um, I'm glad I I'm glad I added them to to the roof of this shed. Really has uh, you know made a difference and helped. So now let's look at the power used pie chart that uh, shows of all the power we generated, how much did we manage to use ourselves and how much did we have to export? And you can see that it's about 94% self-use. So we're just over 6% um, exported. Um, those of you who watch these videos will know that I like to get to about 95% so 
we're slightly under but that's pretty good we're, we're pretty close so um, not too disappointed with that that's quite good so now let's have a quick look at the pie chart that shows uh, for all the energy we used uh, how much of it uh, came from the grid and how much of it was self-generated and you can see that 96 percent of all the energy we used in the house was uh, self-generated in May uh, there's a tiny little bit that's come from the grid and this is just the noise that you get from having a um, grid tied battery system uh, if you want to find out why that happens uh, I'll leave a link to a video at the end that explains why why this situation occurs it's not something that I can do very much more about unless I went to a completely off-grid system similar to what I've got here uh, just in the shed here is the pie chart that breaks down where all the power that we have used has gone um, and you can see that um, the cars are pretty much taking up about half of all the power we generate and um, nearly a quarter of all of it just goes on heating the hot water and the rest is made up of um, yeah, video games playing and um, heating the hot water for, for tea in the urn and uh, the dishwasher and uh, the washing machine for the most part so uh, you can see that um, yeah 12 and a half percent on gaming is uh, up significantly it is now the um, pretty much the summer holidays my son is back from university and so uh, I expect that to continue until probably sort of September October time uh, when he'll go back and that will probably drop significantly then. So let's have a look now at the um, power import for the house broken down into half hourly sections and you can see that we have not imported anything for the whole of May. There's a few little spikes here that you can see um, they're not significant, they're more to do with um, glitches in my uh, monocle software uh, where it's um, done something a bit screwy for a few seconds uh, resulting in a slight draw but it's not indicative of the fact that we needed it and so there you go we've pretty much been off grid for the entire of May so 31 days is the streak for May uh, of being effectively off-grid and when you combine that with the off-grid streak from the end of uh, April you'll see that uh, the total off-grid that we're now at is 44 days so 44 days of continuously being effectively um, off-grid for electricity so that mirrors the situation last May where we were also off-grid for the entire month Let's also have a look at the status of my uh, homemade uh, battery banks behind me. Uh, I started doing this as part of the monthly stats video now as well. Uh, and you can see that they're all good. All the battery cells are aligned. Um, there's only a 24 millivolt difference between the highest and the lowest on this pack. On the next pack there's a 27 millivolt difference. And on the last pack only a 21 millivolt difference. So it's all good it's all within acceptable uh, ranges uh, so it's all performing perfectly well uh, eventually I will do a capacity test on these to uh, work out um, after a couple of years of usage how much they've degraded um, but at the moment it's not a problem they seem to be doing just fine so take a look at them using the thermal camera and see if there's any issues with any of the cells no individual cells standing out so it doesn't look like we've got a problem with any particular heaters what's this here we're still only looking at 23 degrees compared with 22 degrees so they're all 
they're all nice and cool. Let's have a look at the ones over here. And nothing particularly standing out. And the ones down here. a warm one. So that's 21 degrees. And the one next to it is only about 20 degrees. So it's slightly warmer, but not really warm. There's not a proper heater. Another one here. It's about 20, 20 degrees that one, so it's slightly warmer than the others but it's not really warm warm. Yeah, so this is slightly warmer than, than the other cells but it's not actually really really warm. It's only like a degree difference, it's not like it's 30 degrees or something, which would indicate that it had a problem. So yeah, all looking good. Okay, well that's it for another month. May was a fantastic month, you know, basically off grid for the entire month, um, as, as the same as uh, in the previous year. So uh, fantastic, let's keep this up and um, hopefully we can keep the streak going right the way through June and July and August and September you know it'd be great to be able to spend six months effectively off grid without having to pull any power at all that would be really awesome so hopefully that new big battery that I've just added uh, will will help me to be able to do that but uh, we also need a bit of luck on our side with the weather as well so uh, stay tuned to see how that goes uh, please do check out my other videos um, and there will be another video coming shortly with an update on my progress towards um, getting off fossil fuels this year, my goal for this year. Um, uh, anyone who doesn't know about that yet, please check out my previous videos about my goal for the year which is to get off fossil fuels. Um, it's going well so far, um, yeah, next video will be uh, another update saying uh, where I've got to um, so far so yeah please do like comment share subscribe let me know in the comments uh, what your best day was and uh, what your worst day was and where you are in the country so I can compare and um, I will see you all on the next video cheers